Bobby. Chloe. 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 What's up, gypsy kings and queens? Scrampy and Red here. Today we're gonna show you some of my favorite accessory exercises that I do throughout the year so that I stay real strong, real safe, and have a sound body as I do my CrossFit training. First exercise we got here is the Powell Raise. So we wanna keep that arm straight, and I like to get in this little sexy pose, you know, hand on my head. Keep my arm straight, have it at a 45 degree angle up and down, and think about scapular retraction the whole way through the movement. I also like to pop it up a little bit at the end without using my trap to get a little bit extra. Engagement. Now to spice this up, you can get into a plank position and do the exact same thing. You wanna go light on the weight, but make sure that your hips, knees, feet, and shoulders are all in line. Next, we got a rotational med ball toss because as you know in CrossFit, we're only moving linearly. So you gotta keep that trunk stable by doing rotational work. Arms stay straight, and I kind of think of it as a baseball swing or a golf swing and whip that ball into the wall. Here we have a half kneeling wood chopper. I like to use a 50 pound plate same idea, arms are straight and I'm trying to get maximal rotation throughout my trunk. This really gets my obliques going and it keeps me really strong in my core. My favorite, favorite exercise of all time is a plank sled pull. It's a real bitch too. You load up a sled, get a long strap or rope if you can, and you're going to be in a plank position and get a full pull on that uh, rope all the way to your belly button. Here, my, I'm cheating a little bit. I would like to get my butt down so that I'm in a true plank position, either on my hands or my elbows. Either way, I spend a lot of time doing accessory work and I have found that it's great for injury prevention. Whoa, what do we got going on here? How's it going guys? Scrampy here. Just got out of surgery about five days ago and uh, thought I'd get a little workout in. Can't be sitting around taking pain pills turning into a piece of shit. Figured I'd get in the gym and get moving. So, first thing I'm doing here is jumping on one of these bikes. Trying to avoid these things trying to hit me in the dick, but uh, just trying to get a nice little cycle on and get a nice little sweat going. Did about 20 minutes of that. Next thing we're doing here is some squats. Nothing too crazy, just three sets of 20 squats. Don't need your arms to squat. So we're getting a nice little pump going, getting a nice contraction focusing on keeping that core tight. Next thing we're doing is a little sled drag. Load it up a little bit of weight, put it around the waist, and get you a little walk on. Keep that core tight, and just be mindful of what you're doing. There's a lesson in every injury, and you know, this is just part of becoming the absolute best version of yourself. So, we're going to be moving forward here from this injury and working on mastery, self-mastery. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more.